I really, really like them off my nap today. I'm trying to go somewhere and I'm not in gear. That's really good, isn't it? That's quite impressive for me. In other words, it's saying I do quite often. Anyway, how are we? How are we doing? I hope you're all well. I realised just now that I've never really like properly spoken about my uh, diagnosis. Which crons? Can I go? Let's go. Um, I've sort of touched on it, but I've never really spoken spoken about it. But. You're gonna have to bear with me because my uh, memory is shit. As I think is pretty much everyone knows now, my memory is awful. Um, okay, so I've been in my current job six years in April. I can't remember when in April, but it's like the beginning-ish of April. So, before that I did care work, I was going around the houses with people I didn't care. So I've got a thing. I was definitely struggling with diarrhea when I was doing the care work, without a doubt, because I was having to use people's houses. Um, and my eating, when, when you do it, the thing is, is, is um, what people need to understand is with care work is, especially when you go around the houses, I've done in a home and around the houses, especially with going around the houses, uh, you don't stop. <laughs> you might you might get half an hour in a day, maybe. But a lot of it is spent in your car, driving to and fro. So you eat while you drive because it's the only chance you're gonna get to eat and drink you know um, so you're eating stuff that you can eat with one hand and things like that um, uh, a lot of carers diets I know was uh, two double cheeseburgers and uh, some kind of milkshake from McDonald's when they're in the brain tree area <laughs> Um, yeah you know you grab stuff as you go kind of thing so you know your eating habits aren't great because of that and you know you could be out till 9, 10, 11 god midnight at night um, so you're not coming home and cooking an entire meal because it's silly o'clock at night and you're exhausted anyways um, yeah I was definitely dealing with diarrhea while I was doing the care work not so much um, like urgency to go wait all that time but it was definitely always loose any anyway for sure without a doubt um, and then I started with my dad's company, so I've gone from doing care work to doing office work. Major head screw that. Um, being st stuck in one place, you know, after you've got so used to doing care work is, um, it's, it's hard. Um, anyway. Yeah, it was, a, it was always loose for a good probably about half the time that I was doing the care work um, so probably about a year and then once I started my dad's company it never really changed there was just more of it because I was eating more because I'm sat all day on board I'm eating you know um, but yeah um, there'd be more of it and then sort of pain 
kind of came into it, not massively, but there was like a general discomfort slash pain that would be there pretty regular. Um, I just sort of sat and ignored it. I didn't want to go to the doctors because, you know, what was I, what would I be? I would have been 23, 23. Yes, <laughs> yeah, 23. Um, and when you're fat, when you go to the doctors, it's kind of like, if you stab your toe, it's because you're fat. That kind of attitude. Anyways, eventually, after three years of dealing with this, I uh, went to the doctors and I said I need help and was told, oh, I'm pretty sure you've got IBS, try the fog fat diet and lose weight. I have spent so much money <laughs> trying to lose weight for years. This is one of the things that I want people to understand is I've tried, barring the Cambridge diet, I've tried near enough every diet out there to try to lose weight. Um, and the only reason now that I'm losing weight is I, I personally believe I've not had it looked into. However, it's very coincidental is I had the implant removed. I had the implant since I was 16 because my periods are horrendous. Um, and I feel like they're getting worse the longer I've um, been off the actual implant itself. But I, I'm trying to avoid putting things into my body as much as possible because I'm having to do the steroids, the uh, the antibiotics I finished yesterday. But I'm trying to I try to avoid putting as much in my body as possible if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, was told it. We're pretty sure it's IBS. Try the fog mat diet, lose weight. First of all, don't keep telling me to lose weight when I'm trying to lose weight. I've done a very active job. I didn't lose weight. I stayed the exact same weight the entire time that I was doing care work, bearing in mind that my eating habits, yes, they become unhealthy, but you're also eating just enough to get you through the day. You know, you're eating a bag of crisps while you're driving kind of thing, you know? Literally, I don't see how anyone could have a massively healthy diet while providing home care. So, tried to fog back diet, crap, did not work for me whatsoever. What it is, you know, bits where they were saying, don't eat this, it was good for me. My guts enjoyed it. What it was saying, what's good for me, my guts hated. So, carried on and on, kept going back, kept going back, kept going back. I probably had about four or five appointments in one year where I was going back and I was saying, look, this, this isn't right. I'm trying to lose weight, I'm sure it's IBS, keep trying to FODMAP diet. The FODMAP isn't working for me, just keep trying it, blah, blah, blah. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried veganism? Have you tried vegetarianism? Yes, I've tried it. Doesn't work for me, my personal journey. It doesn't work for me. It may well work for other people. It may be brilliant for people, but it doesn't work for me. It just doesn't. I'm not getting into that because I've had someone on my Instagram keep telling me that I need to go onto a vegan diet and it's doing my absolute sweet in. <laughs> it doesn't work for me. I've tried it. I would quite happily go onto a vegan diet if need be doesn't bother me because I'm aware that there are a very fast amount of uh, very good meat free substitutes and meat like things doesn't work simple as that I'm not gonna put my body through any more of the pain like what I had when I was on it to uh, it uh, took me going to the doctor, going to a different doctor because the doctor that um, was telling me to carry on trying to lose weight and to follow the FODMAP is not a doctor that I like. <clears throat> it took me going to a different doctor and uh, essentially breaking down. Literally, I cried in there um, saying, I need help. This isn't right. I'm in agony. I need help. 
for anything to be done. He uh, refers me to go and get a, was it a colonoscopy that time or was that just an MRI? It might have been for the colonoscopy. So this was November time, 2018. Goes, gets it done, meet my consultant who I deal with now and uh, diagnosed with Crohn's. So I had about seven years, uh, five and a half years of struggle before I got any help. So there's my story so far. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay well, eat whatever you can, sleep well, all that jazz. Love you. Bye.